Greetings, human. You have reached T-Virus Terrence. You be sure to click that subscribe button to join the T-Virus community. Jason Statham is back as Frank, ex-Special Forces operator, and this time around, he has a different job. His job is being a chauffeur and a bodyguard to a little boy named Jack. His parents are very important as they are connected to politics, but the father of Jack He's ruffled some feathers, and these feathers that he ruffled, they're connected to the drug cartel. These are high-class criminals that will kill your whole family if you piss them off. So they decide, these criminals decide to kidnap young Jack. I was like, damn, they done made the worst mistake of their fucking life. You, you gonna kidnap a child that's being protected by Jason Statham? You must have lost your goddamn mind. And then they decide to inject this boy was some type of crazy ass contagious virus. We talking about this shit could wipe out humanity in a couple days or some shit. It is crazy as hell. On a scale from one to ten, one being horseshit on a hot, smelly ass day, and ten being mind blowingly amazing, I'm gonna give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. Not as good as the first movie, but still pretty damn entertaining, and Jason Statham once again delivers as badass Frank and the chick in this movie that works for the criminals with the short hair and she got the nice abs I had several dreams when I was younger when I was in high school about fucking the shit out of her on a beach I'm talking about it's a hot day we both butt ass naked we don't care where the sand goes I'm fucking grabbing her spanking her ass fucking her rough I'm talking about putting every ounce of of energy and strength into each thrust as she cries out. I'm fucking her from behind and I'm choking the shit out of her. And I'm just like, yeah, you ain't got the dick like this, huh? Yeah, now you dealing with Terrence. Those were some great times. But if you like Jason Statham and you like fight scenes and you like martial arts, you check this out. I think the first movie, the story is a little better than this one, even though this story is interesting. But I will say, I think the fight scenes in this movie are better than the fight scenes in the first movie. So I think the first movie has the better story. The second movie has the better fight scenes. But all around, Jason Statham does not disappoint when it comes to badassery, when it comes to screen presence. You know somebody about to get their ass whooped. Like if, I, if I'd have been working for the criminals, right? And they'd been like, yo, Terrence kidnapped this child. I'd be like, um... You mean a child is protected by Jason Statham? Or it, won't that like end our whole careers as criminals? Like, isn't that dumb as fuck? You do what we tell you to do. Okay, look, I'm about to quit right now. Y'all have like some kind of death wish. Apparently you didn't see the first Transporter movie. You don't mess with Jason Statham. So it was nice knowing y'all. Thank you. I'm just going to walk right on out. And I know you probably going to shoot me in the back and I'm going to be dead as fuck. But that's better than getting beat up by Jason Statham. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all y'all dumb as hell. You think a virus is bad. You ain't mate. You you ain't met Jason Statham yet, okay? So yeah. So shoot me in the back, inject me with the virus. Any option is better than fighting Jason Statham. Y'all dumb as fuck. You're not going to make it to the third movie. Terrence out.